Welcome back to JC Motor Garage. So in the last video, my dad helped me put in the power steering cooler. We upgraded it. We did the lines. So we got that installed. So let's fill it up. Let's start the car up and let's see if it leaks. So before we end this video, hit that subscribe button. Follow us a thousand subscribers. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at JC Motor Garage. I post a lot of stuff on there. If you have any automotive questions about, you know, Integra's, Hondas or anything, just hit me up. I'll try to help you help out help you out the best I can. So let's get in the video and let's see if we, we did a good job. So let's do it. All right. So last video, we put in the power steering cooler. So we upgraded it. We did a uh, Hayden 1009 power steering cooler from O'Reilly's. So this is that one right there. I think it's a nine inch. So you can buy different sizes for different um, different ones. It came with all the application for it. It came with all the, the the things for the radiator, hold it in. It came with the clamps. It came with the hose. It came with everything. So you can do this. So the base of the kit was complete. Um, we got some power uh, press stone, power steering fluid. So we're going to fill up the power steering fluid here with whatever we have left. And we're going to start it up, turn the wheel, see if we can get some power steering fluid in here and see if it leaks. Alright, so we're filling up the reservoir right now, so we're going to fill it up. Just fill it up to about, almost, not to the top yet, but, because I know it's going to take some in there. Keep going, keep going. It should be good right now. Alright, just leave it open. We'll leave this over here, so it'll suck it down when you start the car up. So, we're going to get the keys, open up the garage, and give it a start, and we'll see... If the hoses are good and see if it is so okay we got fluid in there so we got it up enough where it'll go down and it'll suck all that down there Corey's gonna go get the keys and then we're gonna check the lines check the lines right there make sure that that's good and then check the lines right there make sure those two are good right down here make sure those are good and see if they're uh, see if they're leaking. We got some uh, kitty litter on the floor just in case it does leak. So, um, are you ready? Yeah. All right. Well, let's give it a give us a give us a start. Don't turn the wheel yet. Just turn it. Just just start it up. Just so the fluid will start going in there, and then I'll tell you to turn the wheel just a little bit. Okay. You don't want to do a big. Um, don't want to crank on it. You just want to let the fluid. Fill it up, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Where's the Where's the fluid at? Okay, I see it. All right, I think we're good. I think everything's on. Everything's tight. All right. Suck it down some. Okay, no leak so far. So just keep an eye on this. Turn it off. Yeah, a small one. I don't know where it's coming from though. Yeah, we got a small leak. We got a small leak coming from the one right there. So the other one's not leaking, so that's good. It's just that one right there. All right, just turn it off for a minute. We'll plug this up with this thing right here. Yeah, we got a small little leak right here coming off of coming off of this one right. Let's see if you can see. I don't know if you can see. Let me, let me turn on the... All right. So now you should be able to see which one's leaking right there. So the one closest to the radiator is the one that's leaking. The other one's good. So that one just needs to be uh, pushed on just a little bit more, loosened up, pushed on there a little bit more, and then we should be good. So that one's not leaking so let's tighten that one up 
and let's see uh let's retest this again all right so first uh first startup didn't go so well we filled it up and we found out the line was uh one of the lines was leaking so i went up to o'reilly's with the line and with the line off the cooler and that was actually a little bit bigger so um we put the hose on there on the one and i got it all the way up and i got it clamped so you can see um this one right here i'll pull it out a little bit you can see that's the size of the one off the cooler we were trying to put up there and this is the one that i got from uh from o'reilly's you can see that it is a little bit bigger and it actually went up there and uh tightened up so all we're gonna have to do right now um i got that one line sitting there so you can see that the line is longer so Corey's gonna have to cut that line right there and take off this bottom one right here i got it loose i got it off there you can see but i wasn't able to actually actually it says top one right here the top one right here i got that clamp off there i got it loosened up but Corey's gonna have to pull that one off of there like this and then get this one on there but we're gonna have to cut it and then put it on there and then tighten it up so He's gonna do that and then we'll be back and we'll start it up again and see if we're good. If we're good to go, um, we're gonna pull it out and uh, actually park it in the driveway. And then we're gonna start working on the bumper, taking the bumper uh, apart on these pieces right here, right there and right there, getting that off of there. Cause you can see that one piece right over there is uh, separated. So we're gonna take the bottom piece off here and make it actually two pieces so we can sand it down fix it and then prime it so that's the next thing we're going to be doing is working on that we got uh we got different lights right here to go in it these ones right here they're actually clear instead of uh orange so we're going to use these ones here and they actually already have the lights in it but we're just going to replace the lights since we already uh we already replaced the lights right there I need to do something about this right here. This was just to get it working. So now that it's off, we'll put some heat shrink on it and we'll do it right. And we'll get that all right before we uh, put the bumper on, but the lights are in. So let's fix this power steering cooler, start it up, see if it leaks. If we're good to go, then we'll move on to the bumper. All right, so take two, we replaced the hose and we got it clamped down there. We got the bigger hose for the one side. So, all right, ready? Got the power steering pump filled up. Okay. Give me a crank. I'll let you know to stop. Turn it off if we need to. We need to fix that too. Turn it off. All right, so um, we got some bad news about the Integra. That line right there, right behind there, I don't know if you can see. I'll kind of move it up a little bit. You can see right behind there that that rust right there, that's where it is leaking from. It's not actually leaking from the hose. So either we're gonna have to replace this line or put some uh, JB Weld around this just for now till after, um, till the winter time. And we're gonna redo the power, um, redo the wiring and stuff and uh, pull some of the stuff off here. So then when, when it's, you know, um, not driving, we can do all this and then we'll have to replace this line right here that goes here and it goes back underneath the cruise control 
and then back down there and then it goes to the rack that part is discontinued you can see right now i'll show you a picture that is discontinued on the honda website and the part number so we're gonna have to redo this line and we're gonna have to get some line and actually um bend it and flare it and do all that kind of stuff but that will be in a much later video so check out that video later on but as of right now we um we unhooked it right there we unhooked the line i didn't want to take it off of there because i didn't want to do any more damage to the line so we're going to let it drain all the way clean it up dry it up and then uh have it dry tomorrow we'll get some uh jb weld and we'll put some around there and maybe a clamp or something i don't know yet but that's what we're looking at so right now we have the we have a drain in from the from the power steering cooler and that line so it's probably going to take all the fluid out of here which is it's got a little bit in there but pretty much that'll all be down there and it won't be all over the driveway so we're doing out here so we're cleaning the garage out so we can start the body work we got the bumper right there and then we got a thing right there we can put the bumper on so we're going to be taking this apart taking these lights out putting the clear ones in there getting this all cleaned up and these this bolt this bolt this bolt all the way along here this goes into two pieces so we're going to separate this clean all this up sand all this down and then we're going to fix all the little holes and everything with some fiberglass and we're going to be doing that so that'll be coming in the next video so yep so next video we'll be doing uh jb weld on this after it dries for a day we'll be doing that fixing that hopefully that fixes the problem and then we'll be starting body work getting it all sanded down and primed all right well you can see that one little leak turned into a big project but that's how it is on older cars especially something that's been sitting in the salvage yard for four years and it rusted and we were going to replace those lines when we had the engine out but we were hoping that it would uh, hold but it didn't so hopefully we can get this fixed for now just a temporary fix so we can drive it till the winter time and then we'll fix it so if you like this video Please give us a big thumbs up. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at JC Motor Garage. Hit that subscribe button. Follow us a thousand subscribers. And we'll see you next time on JC Motor Garage.